Nintendo is getting ready for this weekend's annual Come Out with Pride Parade. The event is expected to draw up to 200,000 people to our area. Now, it is the first large-scale event in downtown Orlando since a scare at the 4th of July fireworks show at Lake Eola. Thousands of people were sent running over concerns. There was someone shooting into the crowd, later realizing that was not the case. And as News 6's Brian Didlake reports, this weekend's festivities also come as LGBTQ plus issues take center stage here and across the country. It's quiet here at Lake Eola, but you can still see signs of the city preparing. Like this traffic advisory warning of potential delays as Orlando's Pride Parade is coming this weekend. We really just want folks to be able to feel like this is their hometown pride, despite the fact it's huge. Tatiana Kiorga leads Coming Out with Pride, the nonprofit over Orlando's Pride Weekend. The event drawing hundreds of thousands of people with at least 200,000 expected this year. Organizers say there will be more stages centered around local businesses and artists. Kiorga saying they'll even be adding a youth center in direct response to the state's parental rights and education law or as critics call it, the don't say gay law. We also wanted the youth of Central Florida to make sure that they feel loved, accepted, and that they are also part of this community. It's inclusion, as one of the Grand Marshals, Shea Cutliffe, says that is being emphasized, especially for the trans community. Many people in the LGBT community know that the T is often silent or the T is often forgot. And this is a very intentional way to make sure the T is never forgot and the T is always included. Cutliffe says as a Grand Marshal, her job is to showcase leadership, which is why she says while people are celebrating life and love, she is also encouraging people to get active in their community. Remember, uh, in a year like this, midterms are coming up. Hold our politicians accountable. Let's hold each other accountable. Um, this is not the time to play with our rights. <laughs> And while inclusion and supporting local businesses are top of mind in Orlando Pride's activities. Um, everything we did really was built around security this year, particularly. Georga says people can feel safe this year, saying they hired a new security team. <laughs> and with the July 4th downtown scare still fresh in mind, organizers say the event space will be barricaded with multiple entry points. And but those four entry points will have metal detectors, which is different from the years past. Um, and the big thing is we are asking folks to have a clear bag policy. In Orlando, Brian Ditlake getting results. News 6.